Hi, welcome back. Uh, when I first started this Facebook page, I, I promised you that we would go and make a mod of the feather light trailer. I can show you exactly what I did to modify the uh, feather light trailer that's available on Steam. I never really gave it much thought how to do that. And I didn't want to ramble around. And so I decided I was just going to start at the very beginning. And so that includes downloading Blender and uh, downloading all the tools that you'll need in order to uh, import and export a truck, a uh, viable game object, uh, into SCS uh, ATS Truck Simulator. So I have deleted Blender off my desktop, and we're just going to start from the very beginning. All right, so first thing you need to do is download the latest edition of Blender. So if we go to our Google search bar and we type in Blender, the first thing that comes up is blender.org. Now this is an open source software that's free to use. Uh, the latest edition is Blender 2.8. 83.4 so we're going to download that and make sure you download it for whichever platform you're on I happen to be on Windows so I will be downloading it for Windows okay the next thing you need to uh, to download is uh, the SCS tools so that you can modify uh, any truck or trailer that's used in ATS Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator, uh, in Blender. So if you will just type in SCS Wiki, the, the, the first link that comes up is SCS Modding Wiki. Then it will take you to their home page. All right, so this is the uh, this is their software home page. Just click on tools, and there's a there's a few things that you're going to need to collect. Uh, one is the game archive extractor. And this is what you're, you're going to need to extract your base and def files and also your, all your truck and trailer DLC files. Then you're going to have, then you need to download the SCS Blender tools and you need to download the conversion tools. Now make sure that you get the most up-to-date Blender tools and the most up-to-date conversion tools. So for Blender version 2.81 or higher, the uh, version you need is 2.0. So go back in, you need the conversion tools. All right, now conversion tools are, are based on the version of American Truck Simulator that you're running, uh, they haven't updated it to the 1.38 yet, so they still have 1.37. So download version 2.12. And the conversion tools you need to uh, export uh, all your mod files into a format that you that American Truck Simulator uses. You need one more program to convert your your game objects into a file that Blender can use. And you need a tool called Converter Picks. So the first link that comes up is 
to the convert picks file on GitHub and you just download converter picks. Now there is a program called converter picks wrapper that a lot of people like and a lot of people use but I've never used converter picks wrapper and I'm used to just the regular converter picks so that's what I'm going to stick with. Now once you have all the tools downloaded, place them in a folder on your desktop where you know where they're at. And for me, I got these Blender tools in a folder called Blender Tools for SCS. To get Blender set up, the only tools that you really need at this time is your uh, conversion tools, your Blender 2.83.4 install file, and your SCS Blender tools add-on. So the first thing we need to do is install Blender. While Blender installs, I'll tell you why I like Blender. Blender, is, to me, is it much easier to use than ZModeler. I know there's a lot of people out there that like ZModeler, but I've tried both. And for someone who's never, ever done anything with 3D software, I thought ZModeler was very confusing and not very user-friendly to someone who is beginning 3D modeling. Blender, on the other hand, there's a lot of YouTube videos to help you understand Blender, help you understand all the functions of Blender. Uh, not very many YouTube videos for the, the newest edition of Blender for working with uh, SES trucks and trailers. But I, I find Blender just really, really easy to use. And uh, so it's a little aggravating with the, the importing and the exporting. But once you understand what Blender is looking for, uh, the importing and exporting becomes much easier. All right, so we have Blender installed. It's on my desktop. Now the other two folders, you have your SES Blender Tools add-on. Leave this in the zip file. Do not unzip this file. The conversion tools, however, you need to unzip. So extract it into the folder where it's at. All right, so now you should have a Blender, your conversion tools, your extracted conversion tools, and then you should have your Blender tools add-on in the zip file. So now let's start Blender. I know if you've watched other YouTube videos on setting up Blender to use with SCS tools, it talks about positioning the camera, positioning the light. And I believe that had a lot to do with what they call baking vertices, uh, which is, I, I guess, putting like a simulated shadow on different parts. So they, they need to simulate the sun when you're baking the, the vertices. But with Blender 2.8, uh, from what I understand, they did away with the baking. Uh, I know there's an add-on tool that you can use if you want to bake vertices. But for, for right now, we're just going to leave the camera and the light alone. And we're just going to install the, the Blender tools. So to install Blender tools, right up here, you're going to see uh, two buttons that look like slide switches. Just click on it. In this box here, you look for the gear, which is your preferences. All right, so in your preferences, look for the option called add-ons. And you want to install 
the SES Tools add-on. So we click on Install. And in our navigation window, we want to go to where we installed our SES Tools add-on. So if we go to Desktop, and we scroll down, and remember we called it, uh, we put it in a folder called Blender Tools for SES. And here is our SES Blender Tools add-on zip file. Just highlight it and hit install add-on. All right, so now your Blender tools are installed, and if you want it, it's not activated yet, it's just installed, so we have to find it to activate it. And here it is. Now my came up already activated, it had a check mark in it. But if yours did not, you need to just check the checkbox. That's how you activate your SES tools. And you can tell you'll have a tab up here in this corner called SES tools. Now get off your preferences and, and go back to your properties. All right, so now you're back on properties. Now you need to point Blender to where your conversion tools are located at. In order to do that, in this sidebar, you'll see an icon that looks like a printer with a picture coming out of it. This is your, uh, your output properties. Click on your output properties and scroll down. And mine was already set up for the uh, conversion tools, but if yours is not, this will be in red, just like this right here is. So if you see this in red, then your Blender tools cannot find your conversion tools. So in, in the case that yours is red, click on the file folder, and you want to go to where your conversion tools are located at. And here's the folder for conversion tools. Highlight it, hit accept, and it'll probably go into the, the folder, hit accept again. And now Blender knows where your conversion tools path is. And this should turn black. Don't worry about the def default export path just, just yet. We'll, when we go to export a, mod, uh, a model that we've modded, we will uh, we'll correct this. So now Blender is set up to use with your SES tools. And if you click on your SES tools tab, you'll have a bunch of different options for SES. You also have your SES game object PIM. I have two of them. But you should have the import SES game object, and it should say .pim, which is the format that Blender uses for SES trucks trailers. That's it, fellas. That's all you need to do is to set up a Blender to modify SES, ATS, and ETS trucks and trailers. In the next video. I'll show you how to set up your file structure so you can import and export uh, trucks and trailers for editing. So that, that video will be coming out shortly. Thank you. Oh, don't forget to hit like if you like the video. If you don't like the video, please put in uh, the comment section what you would like to see differently. and. and uh, I can't change my southern accent or how fast I talk, so but anything else, uh, I can work with you. So if there's something that, that you would like to explain better or something that I could do better, uh, just please let me know in the comments section. Thanks.